Today, I have to help this colony of big-headed ants survive six nights of horrible creatures that want to eat us. Like the spider here, and there's gonna be bigger things that come later. So first things first, we need to get these ants some food. So we're just gonna tunnel right over here. And then we'll also need to set up a little cavity for worker ants to be spawned. And we can start that right over here. And look at all of this food that we have access to now. So now that we have a little chamber set up, let's go ahead and start spawning some workers. And then once we have a few of them spawned, we're gonna switch around the nest and the worker groups so that we have more ants to gather the food here. At least until we complete this little hex full of workers. Now we can swap these back around. And then we can also start to dig out this area for even more food storage. And our maximum storage just shoots up like crazy. Now we also need to get a spot for the soldiers. Right here seems good. We'll connect that right to the exit. And now we can start placing down the soldier tiles as soon as the spots are dug out. So now that we have at least something to defend ourselves with, because night is slowly approaching and that's when the monsters come in. Just look at these horrible creatures. How will our colony ever survive? Well, we can be proactive by just sending the ants out to fight them before the night falls. Here comes a small army. These little larvas really don't stand a chance. Just go in and get them. Yes. Okay, the ants kind of die a little quickly, but thankfully there's more of them than the larva. And now they can collect the food. And I also want the workers to collect this bunch out here because that's a ton of free food right there. And really the only creatures left are these spiders here. We'll need more soldiers to fight them. So we'll just slowly dig this out. Hopefully we won't tread too far into there because that's a danger we'll have to deal with as well. Oh, and it looks like they're on the move. Bunch of spiders coming into the nest. Ah, oh, and they're attacking the workers. Quick, go out there and protect them. Bunch of jerks. Leave that one alone. What'd he do to you? Oh, great. Now they're both going into the nest. Ah, gotta get inside. Where'd this? The spider's going right to the queen. Oh, no. okay. That's not good. But they got him, so that's good. And did they get the other one? Yes, they did. Haha. -ha. First night defended successfully. Now we're on to day two, where there's gonna be even worse things coming for us. And oh, there's the first what danger, that? whatever that is. Looks nasty. And there's a few of them. Well, what we can do is send the workers over to this plant here because there's a little aphid somewhere on there. That'll be a constant source of food. We'll probably send the soldiers to protect them. Oh, that guy wants a piece of the action. What are you doing? What'd that little worker do to you? So rude. Oh, now we gathered the aphid. Okay, good. Now we don't need to send them out there anymore because there's nothing there. And then the soldiers, maybe they could take out that beetle. Uh, I'm not sure they can yet. What's down here? Oh, they can take out this guy. That's no problem. And now there's two aphids on this plan. Perfect. I think what I'll do is just set up a tiny little cave right in here that will also be for the workers, but a separate bunch that'll only be there for aphid harvesting. So we need to make sure that we gather this one as well, which I suppose I can send the soldiers over there for that. Maybe I'll have enough. I'm not sure. But at least they took out that first one. There's gonna be more showing up, but that's okay. As long as we can keep the numbers down. So let's see how 12 soldier ants handle this bug. And he chews through them pretty quickly, but they're doing constant damage to him, which is good. Okay, they took him out most of the way, but now let's hold off on advancing until we get most of our ants back. And then also probably work through here so we gather up a bit more. Eventually, I want to take out this beetle first and go in and get him. He doesn't have a lot of health left. Get him. Get him. Yeah, they got him. Excellent. And now, oh, that one's collecting the aphid. Very good. And then the rest of them can go ahead and gather the food that this beetle provides. And that should be all they need for that. Now we can set up this group up on this aphid plant. So there should hopefully be a constant source of food. Oh, and there's an aphid on this one as well somewhere. But that one's protecting it. I need more soldiers. So I tell you what, we're gonna continue to expand down here. Getting pretty close to the edge, but we're also gonna have to eventually expand into here. So we might as well get that over with and then get the soldiers in here ready to attack. And there they go. Ooh, okay. Roly polies. These are no problem at all. Just take care of the larva because he's attacking the most. All right. That's constant food right there. Very good. And now we have all this mess that we can expand into for even more soldiers just as soon as we have enough food. And every time there's an aphid up, I'm going to make sure to collect it. So now there's just a ton of larvas down here and one big boy up here. Shouldn't be too bad. Ooh, there's actually three aphids on that plant. Amazing. But now we'll collect the food that's over here because that's free. Maybe actually one worker can get up here safely to extract the aphid. Then we're gonna make sure we also have plenty of soldiers for the night. Okay, they reach the plant. Up they go. Not sure how many aphids there are here. They have one, so there must have been only one. Uh-oh. Oh, you stay away. All right, no more aphids over there, so let's call back the worker ants. Very good. Now we have even more aphids on this plant for more easy food. And now our soldiers have 20 to their numbers. Let's give them a little bit more. Oh, the larvas are starting to attack. Well, good thing we have plenty of soldiers in here. Just get going at them. There's a lot of them, but we have a lot more ants. Just have to make sure that they all get 
get taken out one at a time. Very good. And that's even more free food. And the big guy didn't even start to attack. Actually, where is he? I, uh, I don't see him. Hello? Where's the big bug? Okay. I guess he uh, decided to take a break. Frankly, I don't blame him. At least it gives more time for my workers to do their thing. We actually do have enough food to place down some super soldier tiles. Hardly enough, though. Why don't we expand this food storage? It kind of makes me wonder if the night's ever going to progress since there's one bug that's still alive and frankly bugged out. I still hear him, but I don't see him. Well, I'm not going to say no to this opportunity. Time to get a lot of work done. There we go. Now we have even more food storage that we can use. Now, I do wonder how much I should dedicate to super soldiers because I don't think I can get very many of them. I can only afford one right now. So maybe this little cavity back here can be for soldiers of the super variety. So let's just get one in right now. And he's going to be grouped in with the normal soldier ants all the time. Just send the soldiers right there. And the super soldiers with them too. Look at that guy. He just fell over. His head's so big. That's how you know he's super. A few of them will get distracted by food, but that's okay. The more food we have, the better. So where is the beetle? There he is. He was just hiding in the rock. Well, thankfully our large army will take him out no problem. He stuns them a little bit, but hey, we did it. All right, now clean up all that food and then let's get out of here. There we go. Let's call everybody back. And our aphid workers are doing quite a good job of harvesting all those food sources. Oh boy, there's some big things on the map though. Ugh, another one of you. Perfect. I love that. Fantastic. Also, what are you workers doing over here still? Ah, get out of there. That's a mantis. That is also not showing up on the map. I don't like that. Okay, so that's a threat we have to deal with. So the other problem with the super soldiers is not only are they expensive to place, they're expensive to hatch as well. I'm not sure I want to divulge too many resources into them. Otherwise, I'll run out of ants. But, you know, I can place down more normal soldiers and collect the food that's over here, including a lonely aphid. But now, how does one take out these things in due time? Probably by taking out the smaller threats first, like these things. Get down over there and take them out. Uh-oh, what's fighting? Oh, the plant's right there. I didn't notice that. Well, if one of the ants makes it, then it should be okay. And now my normal soldiers are taking out this threat and they just whittle the health down, even though this guy takes them out in two bites. He's taken care of. There's also this little guy up here. Oh, please tell me the ants are making it to the aphid. Oh, yes, they did. Okay, good. Is there more aphids? I'm not sure, but I also don't like how this guy is just munching up my workers. Ah, run away. Protect the aphid. Oh, no, the aphid got dropped. That's fine. Rescue him. And then we'll just bring all the soldiers down to fight this guy. Hey, uh, where are you going? You weren't supposed to bring food back, you dingus. You literally just ran away so you could pick that up and bring it back. How dare you abandon your friends? Well, at least they're able to take him out on their own. At least... I think they do. Come on, he's only got so many health left. There we go. Can't believe the super soldier got distracted by food. That's not a good thing. Fine, you're gonna be in your own group and then this group doesn't worry about food at all. And you know what, since the mantis is the only thing, let's just station them in the path because he's already on the move and he's moving very quickly. Wow, go on, get him, chew him down. He, wow, he really doesn't like fighting any of them. He just died right away, I like that. So that's that night taken care of. We're doing pretty good so far. We only have three nights to go, but we should also expand our operations underground here. Ooh, we can afford a third super soldier. That's as many as I wanna do. So we'll just dedicate everything else to normal soldiers. And I think now's the time we can properly expand our food storage to cover this entire little area. And wow, there are some big blips on the map, including that large thing, my goodness. And a giant spider and a mantis and a tiny boy right there. Oh, and there's a lizard. What's a lizard doing here? Well, that's something we have to deal with. Just send in the tiny soldiers because they're gonna get distracted by food and fight the big lizard. Yeah, super soldiers, take him out. Okay, super soldier one down, but that's a lizard taken down as well. Awesome. It's so weird seeing ants just harvest chunks of meat like that. Like, you wouldn't think that'd be something they'd be into, but here they are. Okay, there's an aphid we have to rescue from this plant, but there's also a mantis in the way. I know that we can take out the mantis, so let's go ahead and do that. Super soldiers went in first. I'm not sure that was a great idea, but the mantis gets taken out, which is good. And there's no more food over here for the normal workers to collect. We can send them up here for a lot of free stuff. Now, we should be able to take out the spider. At least that's what plays out in my mind, even though he's hiding right now. I'm thinking now's a good time to try it. Just march them right down to the cave entrance. Ugh, spider legs are poking out. All right, now get him. Uh, did a spray thing. I'm not sure what that did. Ooh, but he got stunned by the big soldiers. I like it. Okay, and he actually gets taken out pretty effectively. Good, we're calling the numbers before they can invade us in our home. And the spider's gonna have so much food for us. Go ahead and start collecting, friends. Just collecting tiny little legs at a time. Excellent, large food reserves right there. I really just want to take out this big one right now. I'll do it. We have 40... 
nine ants maximum. So this should be okay. That spray really didn't take out a lot of their numbers. Wow, he went down super quick. What was I worried about? We'll call them back so they can defend. And then that'll give us time to work in here. Not sure what these little guys are doing now, but there's an aphid to rescue right over here. And there's also one down here to rescue. Okay, now these guys are moving. Go ahead and fight them, friends, so you're not leaving your comrades to die. Very good. That's one, two, and then three taken out. Excellent. Now the knight's gonna fast forward, so we have to work quickly. We can honestly afford another soldier at this rate. And let's make sure that these aphids over here get collected before they're forgotten. Oh gosh, that's a big frog right there. Hold on. Don't go there. Ugh, what are you doing? Okay, now we have big frog to worry about. Spider, beetle. Oh gosh, they're getting bigger. We only have two knights left though, so we're doing pretty good. This tiny spot down here only is this guy. We can go ahead and get him to clear a path to the aphid. I don't even really need to send the soldiers over there, I don't think. Speaking of soldiers, we can place that one in. And our food stores are getting full again. Oh boy, I need to start spending more of it. Now our soldiers are fighting down here, and this guy's taken out. Awesome. There we go. Aphid rescue mission is underway. Also, that frog is worrisome. I need to have a lot of units to take him out. Oh, and they're fighting the workers that are in progress. Why would you do this? You're about to see that that is a bad idea. Oh my, look at all of them rushing in from what they were doing. Oh, you had a bad day, friend. Now, I'm not sure these soldiers know that you can collect this guy for food. He really you haven't done that. And this frog is very intimidating right there. What's up here? Oh yeah, the big spider. And you know we can take him out. Might as well call the numbers. And I'll actually hold on sending the soldiers in right away because they were a bit closer for being in the nest. But now I can send them in. Go ahead, take the fright right to them. There's a spray which takes out the soldier. I don't know why I keep saying the super soldier and the soldier in the same sentence. They really don't do the same thing. But they take out the food, which is a good thing. What's fighting down here? Oh, there's another one. I suppose they should have expected another one. But now the normal ants can go and rescue this aphid. At least I hope so. This one's kind of in the way. So make sure you fight them. Yes, and you already wasted your spray ability on the workers. That was your mistake. Aha! I really should should expand into the nest more so I can get more units. Let's go ahead and do that in here. There's also a good chance that we break through the wall into this area. So let's, okay, so that's where that other guy comes from. The aphids rescued from there. So let's call our workers back and just have them start gathering the food from these ones. Okay, now the workers are ready to just absolutely dominate whatever's in here. So let's get that underway. Just a simple larva. Oh, I feel bad for him almost. The only reason he can attack is because all my soldiers were distracted by the roly poly. Very good. Now we can expand and place down even more soldiers. And and another super soldier while I'm at it. I kind of worry I'm getting too greedy with the super soldiers, but they're just so good. We'll just be very cautious when placing new ones. That should be enough for us. Okay, night has fallen, so big things are gonna start coming in. Hopefully it's the smaller ones first and then the big ones. But I can clear out more of the units down here that I know my ants can get rid of. So if I station them up here, then they'll take care of the bombardier right here. And then they'll be in perfect position to take on the frog. Do I do that right now though? I think I should. He's starting to move. Oh, and so is that one. I didn't realize there was gonna be another one. Okay, now there he's doing things. We took out that one, the jade looking one. You just hopped away. Come on, take out the frog. Oh, he's already halfway dead. Wow, wow, we, my ants are amazing. Now I can send the normal workers on a rescue mission for aphids. That was honestly the biggest threat I was worried about. Oh gosh, but a uh, big spider in the nest and he's not going for the queen right away, which is kind of surprising. But we need to defend that queen with all our powers. Ah, get away from, uh, where are you even going? Do you know where the queen is? Uh, you just walked past it. All right, you know what? As long as you're not attacking the queen, I'm okay with it. Just get ready to be absolutely annihilated because I brought my army in. Yes, destroy him, destroy him. I don't know why the super soldiers are away, but destroy him. We have way more resources than we know what to do with. So we're definitely not gonna run out of ants anytime soon. I got so distracted by the frog, I forgot about this spider, but he's dead now. So that's more free food that I don't know what to do with. Let's go ahead and get more super soldiers. Okay, night is over. I hope I can get the workers gathering this aphid before anything else shows up. Oh, speaking of stuff showing up, okay couple beetles right there. A, oh, big bulbous frog right there. Oh, bright lizard. Wow. We have a Charmander looking guy right here and another frog. Thankfully, the lizards and not bug things are not as tough as I thought. Although I also think I ran out of workers. So let's just call them back and start sending all of our ants on a hunting mission. I feel like we have a good chance of taking out this lizard just because of the sheer numbers that we have, but I'll wait for them to come back because a spider took out a few of them. And I've also placed down some super soldiers because our food stores are full. First one can't handle the numbers, so he's taken out. And his brother tries to join in, but he also faces the same fate. Get him. Yes, we got him. All right, now soldiers stop gathering food and fight something else. Maybe I should send them after the frog. I think I can keep them posted right here though. Eh, who am I kidding? Send them in to take out these bugs. They're nothing. Excellent. You're dead. And 
you're dead. Super soldier going in. Now we have eight super soldiers going. That's honestly more than I thought we would end up with. Okay, now there's two frogs up here. I don't like that very much. Let's go ahead and see if our sheer numbers can take them. Maybe I can coax one out at a time. Just hold those soldiers right here. They're gathering food. Okay, uh, maybe not one at a time. You just ate all of them in one gulp. That's very rude, but let's just keep sending bugs in. And you squish them a bit quickly, but this frog is already halfway dead, so that's good news for me. The less we have to deal with in the night, the better. That's one frog taken out. Now we can force everybody to fight this one. And by everybody, I mean they're supposed to be everybody. Why is it only the soldiers go- super soldiers going in? Go on, get them. See how much faster it goes when everybody's fighting? It doesn't help that everybody was on a ramp. But we got both the frogs, which is good. There's another tiny beetle up here. He's like, where did everybody go? I heard there was a party here. Oh, and you just made a mistake. Why would you think you could take on all these ants that are right here? Oh, you silly thing. Okay, but there should be an aphid up here, I think. Oh, there isn't anymore. That's too bad. There was one right here, though. So let's go ahead and make sure the workers have nothing to worry about. Nighttime is here. That means the bugs are going to start moving soon. All right, take you out, call you back. There's one more frog in the north, but that's okay. Let's focus everybody south. Oh, and there's a lot more lizards here. I should have focused on them sooner, but... Now that everybody's here, we can really have a party. That one lizard is gone. And just as I thought, these ones don't have a lot of health. Or at least it seems that way because they just die super quick. Wow-wee. That's gonna be very good food. And there's one more bug that got away up here. That's okay. We have the aphid that we wanted. I want you to get the aphids. You soldiers stay down here. It's also a good question of who's gonna start moving first. I guess it's you? Wow, you really went for those ones. Yikes, ado. We'll send their soldiers up north and let the super soldiers stay down here. It's kind of like sentries. Oh, you're there, though. Okay, now everybody's moving. That's very not good. We have two fronts happening. Okay, let's call everybody back to the nest to begin with. That one is almost dead, and he is dead. Okay, and those frogs are actually almost dead, too. Our defense is actually working pretty good. Where do I want soldiers focused? I have no idea. Let's just, uh, big threats. How about big threats? Uh-oh, they're in the nest. Nest threats. Bring them back to the nest, because all the frogs are starting to get in here as well. Thankfully... They get whittled down amazingly fast. Oh, that got me worried for a moment, but we did it. Okay, now let's quickly send in the workers to gather aphids before it's too late. You need to hurry and grab that aphid, friend. There we go. Yeah. Aphid collected. And I think that's the only one down there. So now you come back up here. Okay, this is the last night. Actually, no, we survived. Wow. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Our ants successfully defended the nest from all sorts of bugs, lizards, and what have you. Victory! Well, that was a fun little challenge. If you guys enjoyed that, then make sure to let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Herald, Todd M, and Peggy Sue.